What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well at the moment. Welcome to today's Chelsea news video. Four headlines, four news stories going across world football media that I want to discuss with you guys here today and express my thoughts and opinions on these stories and together we can <laughs> evaluate what they mean, if they mean anything at all. Talking about four players, three potential signings Chelsea could make, although they couldn't make all three. You'll get what I'm saying in a moment. And a <laughs> update on a potential exit, which is nice to hear. You'll get what I mean in a second. The football world is flooded with uncertainty at the moment, but I can tell you one thing, there's a lot going on behind the scenes in terms of digital conversations and players trying to figure out what they're gonna do with their football future, when of course the game does indeed start again. But quickly, I wanna take a moment to say, I need you in the Uncle Sam fashion on that recruitment poster back in day. I'm streaming FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode daily. That's right, every single day at 6pm I've started a new career mode, file save mode. Mm. I've started again basically on Jan's Yard. I'm doing it live so I basically listen to all you lot. You tell me what to do in terms of signings, formations, everything. It's interactive, it's loads of fun so make sure you come hang out 6pm every day Go subscribe to Jan's Yard and please help me at FIFA. All right, see you there. Right, so let's crack on with the news. Okay, let's start off with Timo Werner, the player that we thought was long gone to Liverpool. It looked, I don't want to say nailed on, but Werner himself was coming out. He was fluttering his eyelashes at Liverpool, saying how good they were because he was being linked to them. Whenever a player does that, he's obviously saying, come get me, come get me, come get me, oh, come get me. And I kind of get it. He can play down the middle. Not really a Firmino type player at all if you ask me but he can play wide on the left very very well indeed he could suit Liverpool in terms of playing on the flanks it would have been lovely if he comes to Chelsea because he's a goal scorer Chelsea need to convert those chances now German news outlet Kicker have reported that Chelsea Football Club have made direct contact with RB Leipzig regarding the potential transfer signing of Timo Werner to Chelsea Football Club. How reliable are kicker? I have no idea. <laughs> Point being, Chelsea is still a big ambitious club. They've got money to spend. They want to buy a striker. He's a striker. He could score goals for Chelsea. Everyone's happy. Very pleasant times indeed. <laughs> Say for one reason or another, and they could be a multitude of reasons, he doesn't can't, won't go to Liverpool, then Chelsea Football Club is indeed a superb option with a young attacking coach. I'm sure he sees the value in that. And if Chelsea can pay, well, he's got like a release clause for £60 million. Superb value, loads of goals. To be honest, man, I'm going to put a pin in this story until we hear more, but I wanted to let you guys know that a German outlet is reporting direct contact. Perhaps Chelsea are not out of the race yet, but obviously always swing by football therapy and I'll keep you guys updated with the stories. Next up, Lille president's been talking about centre-half Gabriel. We know Chelsea have made contact with the player and the club and been negotiating before the world went into crisis. It did actually look like this could be a signing that was close for Frank Lampard and Chelsea Football Club. But the Lille president has insinuated that Gabriel is close to joining a really big club. We know the player has been linked to a bunch of big clubs like Chelsea, Arsenal, Everton, but he has said he's close, he wants to, and he's probably closer to joining one of these clubs uh, as opposed to the others. Now, if you go by all the speculation and news stories from a few weeks ago, Chelsea were kind of looking like they were on the brink of signing him. So when the president talks about this one club that's closer to signing the player than everyone else, you can sort of comfortably speculate or be forgiven for guessing that club is Chelsea Football Club and hopefully when things start up again a little bit more Chelsea can get this signing over the line. Well I say hopefully if you even want the signing of Gabriel we've talked about centre-halves a lot I think he's rather underwhelming in many ways but if he's a signing that <laughs> Chelsea coach Frank Lampard wants I've got to back the coach man we all have our opinions on football don't we we say this player's good this player's good this player's stats are good this player's stats are better his player profile suits the way we want to play more etc and we all express our opinions but at the end of the day if the coach wants a player you got to back him and if the player comes hopefully everything works out so we'll see what happens with gabriel 
I mean, regardless, if Chelsea buy a centre-half, there'll be one out the door as well. So that's another new story that I'm going to have to keep tabs on and deliver to you guys. Right, we talked about Timo Werner being a centre-forward option for Chelsea, potentially, if new stories are true. Let's talk about another one. Let's talk about Lautaro Martinez. Chelsea have been linked to him of late in the media. People have split. There's been different opinions on the player. I think everyone agrees on his quality, but I think the people who have reservations about signing him are kind of like myself. I would really like him. I think he's an amazing player. But I'm just concerned that he'll just drop into the Chelsea side and fix the goals problem. Loads and loads of chances being created. Is he like the elite goal marksman that Timo Werner is? I'm not so sure. I mean, he's really young and really highly rated. And I think it just inherently would be a good signing because of his quality. But he's played mostly in a two for Conte. He sort of relies on partnerships as things stand. And he doesn't score loads of goals. Anyway, the news headline today is saying that Inter Milan, if they're to sell him, they want the player himself to come out and officially present a transfer request to the club before they'll consider selling him. Of course, he's got a buyout clause. And usually I think they're just sort of triggered. But I think they want him to say like look i want to go we're not going to do anything until you come over to us and put a transfer request on my desk i'm talking callum hudson adored to marina grand of sky style when he wanted to go to Bayern munich <laughs> God, that seems a long time ago now. You dig? He's going to be like 100 million pounds, man. So I'm still uncertain about Lautaro Martinez. Of course, I'd be excited if he was holding up a Chelsea shirt. But in terms of being confident about scoring goals, if Chelsea could somehow get Werner for 60 million and he doesn't end up going to Liverpool, that would make you feel safer in terms of converting chances into sweet, sweet goals. Anyway, another one that's up in the air. Like everything at the moment, watch this space and I'll keep you posted. Let's move on. And Golo Kante, the talk of the town at the moment without him doing anything at all. <laughs> People love Kante. No, no. Everybody loves Kante. They love his personality. They love what he represents. They love how he's an amazing world-class player. There's understandably been healthy debate regarding if Chelsea should sell him or not in terms of the greater good for the club, in terms of play style, his age, monetary worth, what's best for the player, remember? Because the player could go to Real Madrid, PSG. He's won the Premier League. He's done well in English football, the FA Cup, the two most prestigious English trophies. He could go and win some trophies elsewhere and maybe in a less physically demanding league for the young man, well, no, not so young anymore, who's constantly finding himself injured. So yes, no one dislikes Kante when there's a suggestion that Chelsea should potentially sell him. It's just a healthy debate, like I said, but we can maybe forget all that because Goal.com have uh, published an article saying Kante doesn't want to leave Chelsea. He likes it here and he would he would leave Chelsea if the club wanted to sell him, which is classic nice guy in Golo Kante. He's like, oh, I'd like to stay here, but if the club wants to sell me, I'll go. I won't kick up a fuss. Like, kind of like the opposite of Gareth Bale at Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't want to dig out Bale. I've got no problem with Bale. He's just such a sweet man, isn't he? So, you know, everyone wants, I would be happy for Kante to stay, provided, you know, he can play the games though as well. Because remember, he's on 300k a week, by far the highest paid player at the club. So no matter how much of a nice guy you are, when you're on that money, you've got to play some football for your club, um, just for the good of the badge. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens with N'Golo Kante there. But hopefully he just finds form again and we can get two years of elite level Kante playing and he can clutch games again. Let's hope for that. All right, so that's the four news stories I'm talking about today, but I wanna hear your thoughts on Kante, Gabriel, Werner, and Martinez. Get down in the comment section and express yourself on those stories. And remember, do go subscribe to Yan's Yard because I'm live streaming FIFA every day and I do need your help to come and help me play FIFA. If you've enjoyed the content today, please do like the video. That helps me out a lot. And be sure to subscribe to Football Therapy, of course, if you've not already done so. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's all the housekeeping out of the way. Enjoy the football that sadly isn't happening at the moment. And I will see you later. So tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. 
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I laugh me baby 